Thank you. Can we talk? Yeah. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Is anyone else in there with you? No. Can you step out so we can talk? Uh... I promise this is going to be short and sweet. I just need to talk to you. Well, there's a bunch of stuff in my way. You picked a very inopportune moment. Well, I'm, what can, I, what I'm, can I do to have you step out then? <sighs> I appreciate it. Thank you. So, it, we're getting calls in the neighborhood. Do you live here or anywhere near here? I'm going to go with the answers no. So it, we've got folks calling saying that you're moving from spot to spot. So what are we doing that for? Have I done anything wrong? Well, I'll answer your question if you answer mine. Hi. Hi. Are you so, all right? So what did you say? Speaking. Are you okay? Yeah, you guys are making me nervous. I'm 62-year-old grandmother. Moving things around in my van, doing absolutely nothing wrong. Okay, but and I you got two squad cars, three squad cars, three officers. I mean, no, I know. But Rochelle, can you at least respect the idea that I've got a bunch of people that live on the street here, and they see a van that they're not familiar with. It's covered up with all the windows, and they've got someone sitting in it, moving from house to house. Seems kind of suspicious, right? It's the holidays. People get porch thieves. They get people stealing packages. If they don't recognize the van might be a reason why they're calling the cops, right? I don't think so. Okay, I don't well, think, I'm telling you that. I don't, not, I don't I think that, like, paranoia is a reason to, to call the whole squad out, out to the neighborhood. Okay. Well, <laughs> I mean, that, I'm not that, doing anything, so I right. think it's kind of a waste of your time and mine. I, I'm not going to be here very long. Okay, well, what are we doing? And I'm moving things around in my van because it's freezing cold at night. Okay. I'm disabled. I have nowhere to go. What brought you here in the first place, though? I, my whole family lives here. Are you familiar? I had a house here, but the courts here are corrupted. So they took my house away from me and gave it to my ex-husband. what's your last name? Richards. Okay. And my ex-husband poisoned me. Confirming last of Richards versus Rochelle. Rochelle 1129. And he poisoned me. And then I went to court because I was disabled and couldn't really think or do anything right. Really, I'm still not, you know, all well, as you could see. Yeah, no, I And it's because he poisoned me with arsenic and a bunch of other poisonings, and the courthouse here didn't do anything about it because... You want to just clear about it? Or? Yeah. I don't know if our discussion here is that clear. I think that's what she just said. You <clears throat> sound like she, she was was confirming first and last. No, but so anyways, they, the judge and all the people in this town went yeah, to, absolutely. oh, sorry. Oh. It went to school with my ex-husband. So they gave him everything we had together, which was about three million something worth of property here in San Luis Obispo. My house is right over there on Marsh Street. Some other guy's living in there and they sold it to him and signed my deed and my title without my signature and gave it to him okay. and I was poisoned so the court won't do anything about the poisoning but they're busy giving away all my property now I'm out here and look what they're doing yeah, no, and sending you guys out here so have you ever considered checking in with the homeless shelter there off of Prado yeah okay. I have checked in there before and how did that work out were you able to not very well so do you understand were you evicted from the premise meaning you can't go back over there or did you just not like the experience uh, no, they kicked me out because I tried to sleep there and there's one big room with like a whole bunch of bunk beds. Well, now that you have your car... And all the women in there that snore. That, no, and no, I, I you couldn't, know that they have a car program though that you can try to sign up for a list to let your car be parked over there? Oh yeah, I know. I'm on so, the list. Oh, you're on the list. For yeah, the I'm on well, the list for I'm homeless, for housing and all of that. So, I'm just waiting. Okay. But it could take a while. All right, that's still, so did we just park over here because I still haven't really gotten a... Because I'm moving stuff around in my van because... No, no, but why here? There's 
there's plenty of other like public places to park, like the oh well areas and because you don't really you know you want to try to find a spot where there's not somebody sitting right here on the sidewalk, which is like Fair right enough. here, and public and somewhere you can park where there's not a no parking sign and all of those things. Okay. So you know, I just parked here like ten minutes ago, but I was right down there, like right down. One block right down there, and there's a guy down there with a weed blower, a leaf blower. Yeah. And I, I sat there, I was like, okay, I could listen to that for about half an hour. Because I'm a writer and an artist, and that's why I'm shaking. Because he stood there with that thing right outside my van for two hours. So finally I said, okay, that's long enough. And he was doing it on purpose, going around and around my van. And because uh, I was parked somewhere earlier and another weed blower did the same thing, so I moved. So I moved up here because he was sitting there for two hours. That was going to send me And then, uh, you know, I moved up here to get away from that noise, but I was already moving stuff around in my van trying to, like. So, Rochelle, I'm not trying to interrupt. Because everything's you. falling down. Um, what is your plan for the rest of the day? I'm just trying to straighten out everything in there, but if you want me to move, I can move. You know we have a safe parking over by the rover station? Yeah, but I, I don't want to complain, but you know. I it's, think if you do what you're doing, you keep to yourself, you have all your stuff. Yeah. Up, no one would really have reason to come and bug you. And even if they did, other than the officers knocking on your windows and stuff, you don't have to open the doors for anyone. Yeah. So even if you go over there... That might be a better spot then because again we're just going to keep getting calls if you keep moving up the street understand that we're going to keep getting calls from other folks and then you'll be talking to us again and that's how that's unfortunately going to go yeah i know i do it all i talk right. to you guys all the time thank so, god you're nice enough though we try so what's your plan for the rest of the yeah day? you are though i appreciate um i just move because i know you want me to move right yeah i would probably go to some maybe that's a little more public obviously it's a little residential area okay i would probably do that all right, right? yeah like I'll do, plan? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any questions for me? No. Right. Thank you, Rochelle. Thank Appreciate you that, very much. You too. Thank you. Watch Bye. The rag in yeah. <laughs> Thanks again. Yeah. Do you have a question? No.